If you're born into a family, you don't have to fight your way in. You don't have to try to hold your ground and stay who you are. You've got documents to prove that you're part of that family. It's in your name. So there's no struggle when you're born into a family to be part of the family. Now, if you aren't born into the family, it's very difficult to get in and you'll never really be accepted the way blood-born family members are. Well, it's very much like that in the spirit in the kingdom of God. You have to be born into the family of God. You, you don't just work your way in or fight your way in or bribe your way in. You have to be born into it. But if you're born into the family of God, your name changes, spiritually speaking, and you're a, a literal child of the house. You're a son or daughter of the house. You don't have to try to keep that standing. You don't have to try to fight off the enemy for, you know, who's trying to rob your identity. You are who God says you are. You can do what God says you can do. You have what God says you have. And it all is yours by birth, the new birth. Isn't that revolutionary?